Well, there's not much time left in the January transfer window. So Craig Burley is joining me to tackle some of these potential transfers in transfer rates. Let's start off with Ben Chilwell to Manchester City. So we're talking this January. Or we're just talking in I, general. In general, is it, yeah. I mean, obviously, the, the, the left-back position has been a bit awkward recently for uh, Man City because of the injuries to Be Benjamin Mendy. Mm -hmm. Great player as he is. And I think also a slight frustration from his social media activities and one or two other things. And I think maybe it's wearing a little bit thin on Pep Guardiola because he's under pressure. Maybe in the, I'm thinking maybe in the summer, but I'm going to say, because I like Ben Chilwell, he's played for England recently. Uh, he seems to have cemented his place in the Leicester side. He's young and he's very, very quick. A very good attacking fullback, and we know that's what uh, Pep Guardiola likes. So that's, that's a good possibility. All right, well, these two kind of go hand in hand because word is we're looking at a possible swap. Perisic wanting out at Inter. We know the situation with Ozil at Arsenal, but Inter saying Arsenal should pay half of Ozil's wages and they'll gladly take him there. Perisic would be alone. Do you see that happening? I could see Perisic being alone. I, I really, and I was talking to an old colleague of mine today about it back in the UK, and I said, like, I don't, I don't, and he was saying, well, you know, maybe they should, they should go and buy Perisic. He's, he's going to be, uh, in a month or so, he's going to be 30. Now, that's not all, but we're talking about no sell-on value here. Yeah. Right? So we're plugging a hole for maybe a year or two. He's not had a great season at Inter. So I think if, it can, if, if Arsenal can do the loan, uh, I'm going to say, yeah, as a, as a loan signing. I, don't, I can't see them going out and splashing big money. Here's the problem. <laughs> Here's the problem. And, and, I, and I said back at the start of the season, he was going to be a £300,000 plus a weak headache, not only yeah. for Unai Emery, but for the club. Now, if they can get him out, uh, obviously they're going to they're going to do that. But I, I could see him sitting. Can I say miss? Mm -hmm. I could see him sitting tight. I, I just it, it's got that look about him where he's just going to say, I, "I'm really calling the shots here, and I've got this big contract, and if it doesn't suit me, I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to go." I'd like to see him go. I don't think. I'm not sure Inter would be a great fit for a kind of, you know, playmaker who doesn't really work hard. And but but I, I don't I don't see him going because of the wages. Let's move on now to a young one. This is 18-year-old at Brescia, Sandro Tonali to Liverpool midfielder. We know they're interested in Rabio, but a couple of others could he could possibly be good in for it. Well, they are interested in Rabio, but so so are uh, so are one or two others, and, and particularly I think Barcelona. I, I I don't see Rabio. I'd be surprised if Rabio goes to Liverpool with the other offers he's got. The one thing I would say with this is that would make me think it might happen is because Liverpool's transfer policy, in my opinion, has been pretty good of late, certainly since Klopp has come in. They're trying to bring the squad through as, as a younger squad. Uh, Cater came in in the summer. Uh, they've made some good signings. They've got ahead of the game. Uh, and I think that's why that could be a possibility. And finally, this one, we've not talked about it much, have we, Craig Burley? So mm. what do you think? Hudson Adoy to leave this? Do you know, I know I, by, by all accounts, he wants to go. Uh, and I can understand that. Bayern Munich, great opportunity. The German league in particular, some of the German clubs, Bayern, particularly Dortmund, giving all these youngsters great opportunities, giving them platforms. However, it would be suicidal, I think, for Chelsea to allow this to happen, particularly now, because what is it about your youth system if you multi-talented kids are coming through and then some of the bigger, well, the Bayern Munichs are coming and saying, oh, we'll take him because you're not playing him. So I would like to think he's going to stay and get more game time, not just in the FA Cup, but in the league. Uh, but I think that's a 50-50 because he's frustrated about the minutes on the pitch and Chelsea don't want to be seen just to be letting one of their stars of the future potentially out the door. All right, thanks so much to Craig Burley. Continue tracking everything from what's left of this January transfer window here at ESPN FC.